I have Conus 2 image 2021 here on the uh, on the screen. I've done uh, several videos concerning uh, or using this uh, software, backing up your PC, cloning a disk, rescue media. I haven't looked at uh, try and decide. I haven't done a video on it. And I realized today why. Let's look at what this is. Uh, when Try and Decide is on, you can install unsafe software, visit untrusted websites, open suspicious emails, and perform any other potentially dangerous operations without risk. Try and Decide lets you apply or discard changes to your computer. So suppose you download some software, you went to a site that you don't know if you can trust, you open the software and things started to happen that you didn't like to your computer. So you wanted to take it back and discard, discard the changes. Well, you could do that if you have try and decide. On. So as my simulation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a folder here on the uh, desktop. And that will simulate a program that I downloaded that has a virus. I'll also make some changes to my system restore. Because anything you do to your computer, downloading files, creating files, changing the uh, system restore points, and so forth, if you have try and decide on, you can decide whether you want to discard it, discard the changes, or keep them. If everything's going okay, you keep them. Now the way it's supposed to work is uh, if you if you uh, restart your computer, it's supposed to stay on. But that hasn't been happening with me. It might be the software, the firewall, whatever. But what I've been doing is uh, to test it out is I, I make some changes. And then I restart the computer. And when I get to a Cronus, this is off. Instead of on, it's off. So then I look at the changes I made and they're gone. So it automatically discards them. But it's supposed to, when you when you restart it, it's supposed to give you a screen to give you the option to discard or continue working with it on. But this is the way that I do it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a folder here. And then I'm going to make changes to my uh, system restore. And then I'm going to, actually I'm going to, I'm going to download the video here. And all, all, all the rest of it is going to be on camera because I, I keep losing the video because I keep forgetting that, that anything that I do while well, this thing is on, if I discard it, it discards everything, the video and everything. So the rest of it is going to be on camera. So for right now, I will have to close this and I'm going to lose you, but then I'll bring you back with the camera. So we're back. So try and decide is off. So I'm going to turn it on, click on it. Then it tells you about it again, what it is. I'm going to click OK. Now sometimes it stays off, so I have to close it. Then I open it up again. And now it's on. So over here on this side, I'm going to create that simulation. So it's going to be folder, and I'm just going to name it PR program virus. So that has a virus. So that's one that's a simulation like I'm downloading the software. And then over here, I'm going to click on this. System protection. So I'm going to configure. And you can see that has 65.05 uh, megabytes. So I'm going to delete that. That's one of the changes now make. So now the current usage is zero. Zero bytes. I'm going to delete this. Or click OK. So those are the changes that I've made. 
deleted the restore points that it had and downloaded this folder, call it a uh, program. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn it off. So I'm going to click on it to turn it off. No folder. Now let me open System Restore here. System Restore. And there it is. Now I'll, con I'll configure. Remember I deleted the usage there. So let's look at this. To uh, set this up here, it got about, I forgot what it was before, but it's 118 megabits, megabytes, still 4% usage. Like I said, I tried it. This is about the third time I've tried it uh, in the last uh, week or so. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.